Hello there everyone, Marvel Subject here again. Um so So I'm going to show you guys like my, my Steam collection today. Uh here it is. Bec uh, bec now the reason that I'm doing this is because like is because like I like I I, I got like uh, my Steam uh, library like increased exponentially in less than a year. So yeah, like yeah, in like a year or at, in barely less than a year. In a year, like it increased exponentially in a year. So yeah, like this way I'm like showing you guys my Steam account. Uh, as a reason for that is because like my steam library has grown exponentially uh, in a year this year by the way like it, it had grown yeah in a year exponentially so yeah because you're saying like when I like started getting games and buying games last year as uh, the very first p purchase that I did uh, uh, in 2018 from Steam, like I had other games, but like at, at at the beginning of 2018, I had about 60 games. Yeah. Now I have. 124 games like like it it more than doubled it more uh, like uh, uh, like my my steam library ha, uh, has uh, has more than doubled in the last uh, 12 months uh, so yeah uh, I'm going to show you guys my library uh the the favorite like I bought like a as a uh, like the first game that I bought in the last 12 months was it the last like um, Chinese New Year sale so yeah the last Chinese sale in 2018 so yeah uh, and in during this Chinese sale or during the last uh, Chinese sale in like 2019 during the last one uh, I went to Humble Bundle and bought like the products Humble Bundle thing so yeah I'm going to show you guys uh, the DLCs that I have okay so let's start with uh, Age of Funders 2 Age of Wonders 2, The Wizard's Throne. Now, I really don't know, like, I haven't tried out this game. Um, and, like, I, I haven't tried out a lot of the, of the games that I got. Uh, I got. But, but I plan to. And there are some games that I haven't tried on Steam, but I pirated before and tried it. So, yeah. Anyway, Age of Wonders 2, The Wizard's Throne. I haven't played this game. I don't know what it's like. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know if, if it's like a good game or a bad game. It seems like a good game. Um, it seems to have like all of the DLCs in it. So yeah. Anyway, let's get to Age of Wonders 2. I don't think that I have all of the DLCs for this game. Uh, I, I got it during the Humble Bundle. Same as Age of Wonders 2. Uh, so yeah. As a recent humble bundle, I got it, and I don't know if I, if I have the all of the DLC. I don't think I have all of the DLC for this for this game. So yeah, only really have the deluxe edition because like as a humble bundle, like had some of the DLCs of the game, the of the games that were in it. So yeah. Uh. I think it's like kind of like civilization, but fantasy and more action oriented. I think if Age of Wonders of, of three, Age of Wonders three, 
is like that, so yeah. Anyway, let's get to the next game, Arma 2, and it says DLCs. Uh, now, I tried this game before, like I played it a lot more than the Steam Hours, because usually, uh, I uh, because before, before I got it on Steam I pirated it, so yeah, yeah, and I had all the DLCs a pirated copy except the Sick Republic DLC. Um, yeah, uh, I I have it. Uh, I tried it before, and I think it's a really good game. Uh, I plan to play it soon. I had to delete it because like my I don't have like enough uh, a lot of hard drive st space. So yeah, uh, I, I like the game. It's re it's really cool. I wish I had Arma 3 as well. It's really cool. I plan to finish the campaigns up soon. Anyway, let's get to the to the to this section, Bioshock uh, is a Bioshock series. They have the Bioshock series, all of them. Uh, Bioshock one, two, and three. Uh, so yeah, first uh, like I I, fi I finished uh, and completed all of them, like Bioshock one and two and three. Well, I completed the campaigns. I, I didn't complete the DLC like like DLC for Bio is for the first Bioshock. I completed the main campaign, but I didn't bother with the, with the DLCs or with the other modes. And for some reason, the remastered versions like uh, have like bigger uh, file sizes, like they take up more space than the normal versions. Like Bioshock is only five gigabytes, while this is twenty gigabytes. Like, wow. and like it's not really that much of a, like an improvement to warrant that. Uh, big file size <laughs> for the increased file size so yeah Bioshock 2 uh, I completed the, I completed the main campaign and the DLC for Bioshock 2 and I completed the main campaign the so main vanilla campaign Bioshock Infinite um I have all of the DLCs for it. I played the main campaign. I enjoyed it. Uh, I played it on normal. I usually play games on normal. Like I don't bother with hard because like some of the sections of this game like it's kind of like annoying. Not really hard per se, but it's kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah, like there's a lot of like enemies spawn out of nowhere. Yeah. Um. I tried all of the DLC, like I I finished the Barrier at Sea DLCs, and I tried the Columbia as a Clash in the Clowns DLC, and like I played some of it, but I didn't finish it. The, the Clash in the Clowns are is actually good, like it's kind of fun, but the Barrier at Sea episode two is kind of like like different and kind of hard. Okay, we have Borderlands. Um, I have all of the DLCs as always. Like I got the as a handsome collection for Borderlands for the Borderlands series. The only Borderland games that I don't think I have is the Tears of Borderland from Telltale's. It wasn't on sale anyway, so I didn't bother getting it. So yeah, I played it. I played it a bit. I uh, the first time I tried it was in Egypt, and in on my uncle's computer. And at first I didn't like the graphics, but now I'm okay with them. So yeah, I'm okay with them. Like I don't hate them. Like they're cool. I play I played Borderlands One uh, for eight hours. So, so yeah, on Steam. I haven't pre. Uh, I tried Borderlands Two before, and I played it more than seventeen minutes. Uh, during a, during like a free weekend before like before I got it so yeah I got the handsome collection for like fourteen dollars and it was a really good deal during the winter sale so yeah so yeah like uh, Age of Wonders 2, Age of Wonders 3 
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about Arma Cold War Assault. I got it in 2014. Like I tried it and it, uh, the graphics are, are like it's an okay game. It's a cool game, but the graphics are kind of crap. Anyway, Age of Wonders 2, Age of Wonders 3, and the Bioshock series, along with Blastone Terminant and the Borderlands series, like I got these like games during the last 12 months and one of them the blast zone terminant thing is actually i got it for free like the, you'll see like a lot of games that i got for free in the last 12 months like uh, like the steam has been going crazy with the free games and i'm i'm glad they got them however uh, however i missed on some free games like uh, uh, yeah uh, i missed out on su uh, on some games that were offered for free during a limited time, um, like for example, like Shadow Warrior 2, Cortex Command. I wanted that game. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to get it, unfortunately. And Primata, like I missed out on those two games, and the long uh, and the Lego, of, and the Lego, of, uh, and the another Lego of the R Rings game. I missed on. I missed out on. So yeah, like I, I wasn't able to get those for free, I, I, because like I forgot or I wasn't aware of his offers at the time. So yeah, it's unfortunate for that. Uh, it's unfortunate for that. It's very unfortunate that I missed those uh, free uh, free game offers, free games. But fortunately, I got some of them, like let's soon terminate. I haven't tried it by the way. Uh, I got Pro Force. I didn't get it in the last 12 months. Uh, but but I played some of it and it's a, an okay game. Like I like it. It, it has an art, a nice art style and it's really funny. Commandos. Um, I, I actually remember playing this game like a, like a while back in Egypt. Like a lot of the a lot of my friends at school at the at the PSS Portside School like used to play this game a lot and like and like and like when I, I usually watch them playing it because if I tried to and if I tried to ask them to play with to play with them as usually won't give me the the So is a is a game to play with it. So yeah, um, my me uh, my my friends used to play this game, Commandos, um, uh, on the school computer, back in Egypt. Uh, in my school in Egypt. So yeah, like my my friends used to play this game a lot. Back. Uh, Back in Egypt, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Like I'm starting. So yeah, uh, I usually like saw my friends play this game a lot on the computer on the school's computer in Egypt. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And when I looked at them, when I looked, when I looked at them playing the game. Um, like I, I thought the game was hard and kind of annoying because it's usually like when, when I try to watch them and they usually like fail to complete the missions. So yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My fr my friends uh, from Egypt, my my friends from Portside School, used to struggle a lot to complete the missions in this game. Anyway, let's go to its expression. Like I own the rest of the series. Commander's Band of Call of Duty 2. I haven't played this. I've only play only tried the first one. I got it on Steam. Now its sequel. I tried. I tried it before back in Egypt, but this time 
it was on my aunt's husband's computer and I played it and it was kind of hard but the, the graphics looked better than Commandos 1 Commandos 3 I haven't played or cried yet Company of Heroes 2 I have all of the DLCs for it and I tried it like you see like this is one of the most played games that I have right now uh, I played it a lot during the last 12 months and like in general like there's an increase of game time in general during the last 12 months because that's the year where I got my new computer my new ECR computer laptop with the GTX 150 in it um yeah I uh, played it for, a, for over a hundred hours. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, half of those hours were on on like a, another computer that, that I played. Uh, that I played. On. And it that uh, I got from Vista Boy for 14 days and then I returned back because it was making weird sounds since the fans were working really bad. It had, but it, it but the specs were good. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, I returned because the specs were bad. And the other half is from this computer that I'm using right now. Anyway. Counter Strike. It's the very first time I saw Counter Strike. Well, um, was it Egypt? But in on in a internet cafe, and I use, and I saw a lot of people playing it, and they tried to play it, but the, but the the, the land party, the people that that were having a land party didn't want me to play, and because they thought that I'm, I was going to join the server, so, yeah. I haven't played the original, so yeah. The thing was the condition in Skiro and condition zero deleted scenes. Now, I have tried Global Offensive, and you see, like, I played 60 hours of this game, uh, not a lot, <laughs> and like. <laughs> Now, like uh, all of my friends, almost all of my friends now, at least all, uh, yeah, now all of my, a lot, now all of my, now a lot of my friends now have, now have because it went free to play. I didn't get it for free, I actually bought it. Anyway, like I actually bought it part of the Fallout Complete pack. Um, So yeah, I, I played this game. Uh, I usually I usually got owned, but sometimes. But usually I had a lot of uh, I had some good games. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. So like I really don't know why the, there's a lot of like frame drops on it. Usually, I mean like my, my the, the computer picks. That I have like should run this game no problem with 60 frames a second. Unfortunately, like I have to dial down the some of the settings. <coughs> Counter Strike Source. It's a cool game. Um, I try, I tried it, and yeah, but I haven't played it a lot. Crusader Kings 2. Um, I actually got it for free la last year, for well, in the last 12 months. But like, I I have like an extra CD key for that game. If any if anyone here wants it, I would gladly give it away. Uh. Be, be, I, like I got the free key from the humble bundle, so yeah. So yeah, so I have an extra key for this game, uh, and I got the one of its DLCs 
in the humble bundles all the, this DLC right here and and re, uh, and recently today in fact I I got this uh, DLC the legacy from DLC um what kind of like this, this game is really good um also they have like a sale Consider Kings 2 like they have a sale on Consider Kings 2 on the Paradox website anyway this game is actually a good game like I actually like this game uh, it's one of my favorite games to play. I actually played it. I actually played the cop co uh, the pirated version way more than 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 the than the Steam version. Uh, so yeah, uh, because like the, here's things like they have a lot of their DLCs. They have, uh, this game has a, like a lot of DLCs. Like like a lot of them like are like like how should I put this? Like for example, like a lot of the DLCs like are like nickel and diming. They're like for example, like if if you have no DLC, like like if you have no no DLC installed, um, this game would feel very 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 incomplete. Like it won't feel it won't feel like a, a complete game. You see what I mean? Because you're saying a lot of the portraits, like the portraits, like you, you, you know, like here. Let me show you an example. Like what you see here, these are the portraits. Like for example, the portraits. For example, like if you click on like Genghis Khan, for example, you'd see him look like an Arab because like if, without the DLC, without the cosmetic DLC, without the portrait DLC, er, a lot of people look like each like, like each other. A lot of people look like each other. Like for example, like everybody in Europe uh, have the same portrait and they kind of look like each other. Well, not not quite not, but like all of them like share the same like portrait group. There are like a few. There are like a few. Char uh, characters like for example like the William the Conquerors that kind of use their unique portrait but not really they still use the same uh, French Frankish portrait as a base group I guess the Frankish Frankish uh, culture portrait group as a base, so yeah, so, so he kind of looks l like the other Europeans, so yeah, um, and all of the Arabs look like each other, like, and all of the Persians, like, all of the Middle Easterns and the Mongols look like Arabs, and like the and recently. Recently, uh, I mean, until recently, until re recently, the African portraits, like, I don't know how I got this DLC. I think I got it for free because of the, like, Holy Fury update, the, uh, the free update that was added to, uh, to, to the game because of Holy Fury. So, yeah. Otherwise, like without this DLC enabled, the, the Africans would look like Arabs. <laughs> uh, however, like I have this for free. Like I got this for free. Like this, like DLC is for free for everyone. The, the South Indian Portuguese DLC, like it covers some of the Indians, not all of them. Some of them still look like Arabs. So yeah, the Northern Indians look like Arabs. Some Indians, not all of them, uh, look like Arabs in this game without the DLC. So, yeah. I have like four DLCs. Uh, one, one, one allows you to play as Vikings. This is the DLC that I got from Humble Bundle. It allows you to play as Vikings. And, like, yeah, because you're saying you need, the, you need some of the DLC 
to play as other people. Other because without the DLC, you could only play as ca Catholic characters or Orthodox characters. Yeah. So yeah, there's like a DLC for each like religious group. Like for example, this DLC. This DLC unlo unlocks uh, the uh, unlocks uh, uh, unlocks the ability to play as like Vikings, uh, Germanic pagan Vikings, and. And and the uh, fire worshippers, Zoroastrians, or Mirians, yeah, and other pagans like Remova, um, Slavic paganism, and like Simonisko, and like the, uh, other like uh, religions, uh, other pagan religions, other uh, other yeah, is this like this? Like allows you to play. As those like big characters that you see, but it, is it, it? But it primarily focuses on the like Germanic big and Vikings. So anyway, on the on to the next game. The, um, this game, Darkest Hour, the Hearts of Iron game. Um, this is like an improved. I think like this is like an improved Hearts of Iron, two game. I think. I don't know. Like it, it like it uses the Hearts of Iron two as a piece. And this game, like it's it's a really good game. Oh, all I heard it is. It seems like it from the gameplay uh, uh, I saw. However, like I'm trying to play this game, and like and the menu is off center, and like the whole thing is off center. So if anyone knows how to fix this game, uh, if anyone like knows for a for uh, knows of a fix for this like uh, a specific issue, please tell me. Darwinia, I haven't played this. Uh, I played its sequel, I think, uh, Matawinia. Play Defeat, I haven't tried it. I have tried this. I played it before and, like, uh, I've really tried it. This match for Classic, I only check the menu. Defcon, yeah, as you can see here, I, play, I played it for a bit. I played it before and I played it for a bit, like, I haven't played it a whole lot. I like its premise. This game I got it for free. Um, also, Darker Summer I got it from the Humble Bundle. And the Commando series I got I got in the last 12 months. Anyway, this game, as uh, this game I, I got for free. Like it says, but I actually got it for free. Uh, and you and if you look above, like you could see like I, when uh, I got this game, I got it recently, and so, yeah, about like all. Oh, yeah, about like 20, 25 days ago, I think. That was in January 25th. I got it for free and I haven't played it. I usually like saw this, I saw this advertisement before, I think, on Steam. Before it was free. Dino D Day. Um, this game is like, interesting to get some multiplayer game with dinosaurs in it. Like, it, it, the game is set in World War II. I played it a bit, and it's okay. It, it's okay. I, I like the cl unit classes and stuff. I, I have the DLC for it, but not a whole lot of people play it. The strength. I got it for free, as you can see here. I got it for free on November 7th. Dota 2. Um, since they have, like, a lot of DLC for it. Okay, like I haven't played it that much. I played it before in 2013. I think, yeah, I played it before in 2016. I mean, 2013, when I had like an e-machines computer uh, that was re like it didn't even have a graph a, an inter uh, uh, a graphics card and and it had integrated graphics and. It had only a dual core uh, processor with one point. 3 gigahertz processing power. The CPU was pretty bad on that e machines computer. So, yeah, I, I tried Dota for two hours. And that's it. Endless Space, I got for free yet again. Europa Universalis 4, I got it on Humble Bundle, and along with its other DLCs. 
along with the free ones. Uh, I have I got El Dorado is uh, the uh, I got it DLC El Dorado, and this is like the, pretty much the only major DLC I have. I, I got I got the base game and the DLC from the humble bundle. Um, so yeah, yeah, I I played it a lot recently, and it's re and like I always tried. And here's the thing, guys, like. I ended up like having to like re uh, try again as Spain multiple times because I wanted to get the Iberian wedding event and it, it wouldn't trigger like like I, w I I would I wouldn't get like a female ruler or wouldn't get the Isabella the like the the the, the queen that that married this uh, Prince of Aragon guy even though like I'm I, I have her DLC enabled here. I had to try it to I had to try the game multiple times as Spain until I got Isabella or like a premium rule to get the uh, wedding event to integrate yeah. Aragon. I played I played it and like very really hard to like to stay afloat in this game to have like some money in this game. Yeah, I'm I'm glad, but I'm by the way is I'm glad that it got a free update to where you could develop your profits in it for free. That's it, because if because if it didn't, I had uh, I'm going to have to get another DLC. So yeah. Now this game, here's the thing. This game, notice how like I talked about Crusader Kings 2 having a lot of DLC. This game is also made by the company, and it has way more DLC than Crusader Kings 2. It has a lot of DLC and contact packs. Contact pack. Content packs. So yeah. No oh, man, look at that mod. There's like a lot of mods. Mods. For, for, for these types of games, these paradox interactive games. Yeah. Next up, Evolvation. Evolvation. I I got this game for free. I haven't tried it. As the Flame of the Flood, uh, I think it's like an isometric for the survival game. Uh, for, from from like the small clip I saw, from the like one five second clip I saw, uh, it seems like a good game. I got this game for free yet again. Yet, ag yet, a yet, yet again. Like, uh, so yeah, I got this game for free. It seems to be a good game. I gr I'm glad that I got it. For honor, I got this game for free yet again. A lot of free games in this video. Fortified, I got this free game from like. From humble, humble bundle, I think it had like a, a ticket system, and I got it for free. Galactic Civilizations 2 Ultimate Edition, I got this game for free as well. Wow, four, four games in a row. Four games. Uh, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six game. Well, not three, six. One, two, three, four. Four games. Four free games that I got for free in a row. Guys, mod, I played it. I played it way more when I pirated it. Uh, I played it for 26 hours. Um, yeah, it's a good game. I actually like Gears mod. Gene Shift, I got it for free. It's like Grand Theft Auto, the older Grand Theft Auto, but it's kind of 3D. Yes, uh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5, an actual Grand Theft Auto, an actual Grand Theft Auto. Uh, as you can see here, this is the mo my most. This is this game is my most played game on Steam. I have like 276 hours. Uh, I got it during a Steam summer sale. Yeah, during the last summer sale, and like I played it a lot. I enjoyed I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I finished the main story, but I, f I didn't 100% the, ga the game yet. 
Um, uh, I played like a lot of multiplayer. I, I think like most of the like, yeah, most of the time that I've spent uh, on this game was online. And the online is kind of laggy. I mean, I mean like I, I have like a, a decent computer, like it, the computer, my computer runs the game decently when it's in single player. I can usually get 30, 40 FPS if I like play on medium, but whatever I do online, if I like lower the settings, it's, it's still like 20 something FPS, but I still like play it. Most of the time I spend on this game was on GTA Online. And I own, I own some of the bins, it's not all, like I'm not really that rich on GTA Online. It's really grindy game, it's a really grindy game. Guns of Acres Online, so I got this game for free, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried this one. I haven't tried this one, I got it for free. Half-Life, I played for 9 hours, I still haven't finished the campaign, I plan to finish it soon. I, I, actually, actually, I actually have it installed right now. Half-Life 2, uh, I, okay, I played Half-Life 2, I finished the main campaign of Half-Life 2 on a pirated copy. I haven't I haven't finished to, to finished it on Steam, but I plan, plan to play the Half-Life series pretty soon. Along with Gary's mod, like I played it on a pirated version on the uh, pirated version. I played this game on a pirated version, and uh, I think I, I might have played it more. In the Steam version. I played, I played, a fin and I played part of episode one. I played like the, the, a part of the pirated copy. I feel like episode two. I haven't. I think I haven't played it yet. Maybe I clicked on it to see the menu. Half Life Lost Cause. I haven't tried it. Half Life this my source. I haven't played it. Half Life Blue Ship. I plan to play it, but I haven't. But I haven't yet. But the first same thing with Blue Ship. Half Life surf, Source. Uh, I pr I pirated the the source copy before I bought it, and like, put it like I think the beginning part of it, and that's it. Hitman Two. Uh, this is like just for the demo. Uh, so yeah. I, I played the first two demo levels. That's it. I got this for free. It's a free free demo levels. I got I I got uh, I got the free demo levels for free. IL2 Thrumovic 1946. Now this game I actually got it because they uh, because like I thought it was going to be like. War Thunder without the grinding. Um, unfortunately, like this game requires a, a joystick to play. Well, at least it's it's nearly it nearly requires a joystick to play because like I tried to play it but I don't know the instructions and this game I think uh, I think it requires like a joystick. Yeah, a lot of people and I actually went to the forums and a lot of people think it's not worth it to play it as a mouse. Uh, with a with the mouse, so yeah, I actually got this game. I didn't know that it required a joystick. I got this game because I thought it was going to be like War Thunder without the grinding. Because uh, I play War Thunder just fine with um, a normal mouse and keyboard, a normal mouse and keyboard. I play War Thunder just fine with a normal mouse and keyboard. Insurgency, I tried a bit and then deleted it, deleted it because. I didn't have enough hard drive space. Jutun. This game I got it for free. It seems like a good game. I like its art style. Seems like Disney. This game, a hard game, but I got it for free yet again. Yeah, I got it. Got it for free. Killing Four, I got it for free. I played it. I played some of it. It's okay. Uh, I. I. I I think Killing Floor 2. I think Killing Floor 2 looks way better because the bots stay. Okay, and there's like a lot of gore in Killing Floor 2. Laser Freer. 
I got for free. Live for dead. Did it a bit. I tried the pirated copy. I don't know if I played it more than I played the pirated copy more than the original one. But yeah. Left for dead. I finished the campaign on a pirated copy. Uh, but I haven't yet of the Steam copy. I haven't played it that much on Steam. I played it. I think I played it. I think I played Left 4 Dead 2 more on a pirated copy. I got this game for free. There was another free game. Uh, there was another Lego The Lord of the Rings game for, that was offered for free, but I, I didn't notice it in the Humble Bundle store. I said it was just one game. Limbo, I got it for free. Magicka, part of the Humble Bundle uh, uh, Paradox. bundle and this game like I got it I, I got the, I got this game part of the like for uh, because it's what yeah I'm, I'm sorry I'm stuttering I got this game from the paradox humble bundle offer This game, like, uh, I think, I don't know, but I have the base game along with the deluxe edition. Like, I got, this is like the deluxe edition. So, uh, so yeah. This version is a deluxe version. And I haven't tried this game yet. I plan to. Uh, I actually hear, heard, I actually heard about its uh, first part of Magicka 1 and I saw some gameplay of it from like Angry Jojo Angry, from the Angry Jojo yeah I saw the first game Magicka 1 being reviewed by uh, Angry Joe from the Angry Jojo and this was uh, First time I heard of the series, I think so. Yeah, uh, and I remember this clip seeing like four wizards wearing like M16s and like gunning down people. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, I, I I don't know if, if Magicka 2 has the M16s, so I only saw like uh, the that clip from Magicka 1. The beta Men of War Assault Squad 2. It's a good game. Uh, I got most of the DLCs except the Eastern German Army. So, uh, the, East, the German Army on the Eastern Front DLC. Besides that, I got the, the rest of the DLC. I played it. For a while, and it's a good game. I actually really like the Men of War series. I I played the first one. I don't know if I played it more than this copy though. I I played the first one and as a as a first Men of War. And the very first time I played, I played it. Well, barely, kind of played it. Was on, on my uncle's computer in Egypt. And a few years years after that, yeah, uh, I played it on my e machines computer. So yeah. Here is Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade, the one I haven't played the first one. Mountain Blade Warband. I have all of the DLC for this game. I have about 90 hours. It's the third played game, I think. On Steam. So I play. Uh, so I. There's some more. Uh, some hours that I played. On a parody copy before getting this game. It's a good game. I actually like it. Uh, there's a lot of mods for this game. It's really cool. I highly recommend this game. It's very cheap. It's usually cheap on sales. 
you, you guys need to get it. It's a lot of hours. I know the graphics. I mean, the graphics. There's nothing wrong with the mech. I'm okay with the graphics. To be honest with you. Um, hopefully, I, I would be able to run Mountain Blade Two Burner Road, because Mountain Blade One, like, like there's like frame drops in it. Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. I tried the parted copy. Then I, I try I. Then, I, then when I got it on Steam, I tried it a bit uh, again, and yeah, it's okay. I actually like its setting, kind of. I kind of like its settings. I mean, I kind of like the setting. It's very unique. It's it. This game covers like a setting that is not really well known. multi Uh I played. I think I played the co as a. I played it for a bit. I, I pirated. I pirated first, of course, because I. I because usually most of the games that uh, that I played were, were pirated. I played it for a bit. It's uh, it, it's very funny to see the the little things like fight each other. <laughs> Odd War Abe's LC. I haven't played it. I got it for free. Odd Words Abe's Exodus. The whole Odd World series. Well, almost all of it. This uh, Munch's Odyssey and Stranger's Rest I got from the Odd Box, with the exception of uh, Ibs Odyssey. I uh, Ibs Odyssey I got for free. The, the the other three ones I got I got from the Odd Box. I haven't played them, but but the Stranger's Rest is Stranger's Rest seems to be very, a, a very good game. I actually like it. Orion Preload. Uh, it's a good game. Um, there's a lot. There's some customization in it. It's a funny game. It's a good game. I got it from a, for a dollar. It's really good. I played it for a bit. PD is the highest. I played it for a bit on the uh, on my com on my e machines computers that was broken that I had before this computer. It's a good game. So I think PD2 is going to is going to be a lot better. I'm go, I'm planning to get it. Portal, I, huh? Oh, yeah. I think I play. Yeah, I, I played it a bit. So I played it. Yes, but those ninety minutes are not legit. Uh, are, like I played those 90 minutes, not really in a legit way. You see, I actually like downloaded this game using like a software called the Green Luna, Green Luma, whatever its name is, and it allowed to it and it allowed the people. Uh, it allowed the 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 Steam the Green Luma is basically like a. a Correct Steam client, and it, and and if, if if someone downloads it, it allow it actually like al allows some people to like download the the games from Steam that are made by Valve. But I don't know if it works now because it, when I tried this, it was in 2016. Valve probably like updated their software and changed their file format that that the that their games were using. The Valve games that we're using uh, from GCF to ECF, I think. So yeah, because uh, Valve games usually like have like a different file format when they download into their team than like other different games. Portal Two, I I haven't tried it. I think yeah, Postal One. I played it and finished the campaign. And it's it's a, it's a good game. I had I tried to get all of the achievements. Postal two. Uh, I played it on on a pirated copy. So, yeah. I finished the campaign. I have all the see. I finished the the main campaign, the main Postal two campaign, and uh, along with the. Apocalypse Weekend. I haven't tried Paradise Lost yet. Paradise Lost yet. 
prison prison architect I pirated before I played a bit on a pirated version and then I got it on Steam I played it for 12 hours it's still installed on my computer so yeah it's okay quick champions I got it for free uh, I haven't tried it because uh, I got it part of the Steam summer sale I haven't tried it I got Outwards, like Ibs, uh, as an Outward series from like the last Winter Series, I think. So, is that is those three I got from the last Winter Series? As a Minivore Assault Card, I got from the Summer Series. I was going to go to five. Rome Total War and Rome Total War Alexander. I have all of the DC. Room Total War, like, uh, also, like, I don't know, like, why is he put, like, Alexander as its own thing? I, I, I also don't know, like, because, like, it, it matters much later when I get to these two. Or, yeah, or maybe I would explain it. Right now. And I'm really thirsty. Anyway, Room to the War. Uh, this is like the, I, I think this is like the fourth most played game that I have. Uh, I actually, I I first played this game on like a pirated version in 2013. Uh, and it's a really good game. I actually like the Total War series. It's, uh, it's it's an awesome game. There's a lot of mods. There's a lot of like mods in it. Uh, like they add like uh, Warhammer and and Lord of the Rings mods to it. There's like Lord of Ring. There's like so Lord of the Rings mod for Room Total War and War and a Warhammer mod. Um, so yeah. I don't know if I played the pirated version more than the Steam version though. But maybe I played the Steam version a little bit more. To Room Total War Alexander. Also I finished I think I I've, I finished the like I finished the main campaign of this game. Of the base game. I haven't tried uh Barbarian Invasion. Like I haven't like finished Barbarian Barbarian Invasion. I haven't finished Barbarian invasion yet, and I'm on my second playthrough of Room to the War. Because f f uh, because my first playthrough was with Rome. Now I'm playing as my country Egypt. Since Rome Four, uh, I finished the main campaign and I, play, I have all the DLC. As it, so yeah. Man, I'm gonna barf. Oh my. So, yeah. Uh, I, pl I played this game first on like a pirated copy, and I finished the campaign on the pirated copy along with some of the DLC, I think. At least, anyway, I got it on Steam, and I think I'm I spent the same amount. Of time playing this game, so yeah. And then the pirated cop. This game. I played some of it, but I haven't finished it yet. Shadow Run, uh, Shadow Run Returns. I haven't played this game yet. Side Storm. I played some of it. It's a good, it's an interesting game, but it's kind of bo it gets boring after a while, and it's really slow. It's a really good game. I like the setting. I use like some 
some like specific awesome weapons here <laughs> and like some like specific vehicles that, that are really awesome there's like good destruction in this game science storm synthesis it's, it's a DLC for science storm this is like a not as a sequel to the to, to this game there's a sequel to this game but but, but it's not on steam it's called hammer and sickle so yeah this game this game I got it for free uh, I, I played it before in a park copy and it, it's a good game I actually like it uh, but I, I haven't got the time around to play it I don't have the DLC for it I plan to get it though Sniper V. I got it for free uh, it's a good game I haven't got the, the DLC for it Spore I played this game This game is, is this game is really cool. Well, this is one of the one of my one of the like first purchases that I got on 2018. So yeah, I got this game and along with its DLC. Um, I actually play I played this game more on a pirated copy than as a Steam copy. That I actually like got to the final stage and like yeah, built like a an empire. Not really like that much of a big one, but like a, a, a fairly sized space empire. Uh, I, like like I played as uh, as uh, as a captain in the final stage, and the species w was uh, called the Furs. It's like a bird-like species. The, the species that I was playing as. The species uh, was awesome. So yeah, it, it's like a it's like a bird-like creature. It's like a bird, like a parrot. Uh, it's like a parrot, uh, a kind of a parrot. So the the creature that I was playing as. So yeah. The creature creator of this game is really cool, and the Galactic Adventure is neat too. Like, you could design your own adventures, like Little Big Planet, Steel Division, Normandy 44. This game, I got it, I got this game from the Humble Bundles to a store uh, with a du during the like Paradox uh, bundle offer. It's a good game. I actually want to play it very bad. I actually I actually like these type types of game. These these like war game types of games. Um, this this game is really cool. I I actually like this game. Unfortunately, like it, it requires like thirty eight <laughs> gigabytes to play, and I, I don't have the, that space right now to play it. But I really want to play it. It's actually like uh, it's actually not as big uh, as like C Company Fears 2. Stories, the best of Disney. I got this game for free. A story about my uncle. I got this game for free. Stories of Soldiers. I got this game for free. Team Fortress Classic. Uh, part of the Valve Steam Pack that I got. Team Fortress 2. I played it a bit. It's a good game. It's re it's good it's good I actually like its art style. Uh, I I really need the, to get the new hard drive because I want to play these games. So an another Total War series, Total War Empire, Definitive Edition, and Total War Medieval Two Definitive Edition. The two Definitive Edition. You know, like C A re really should have like. Mid, mid, mid room total war into the definitive edition. You should have made a, a total war room definitive edition because it would fit. It would fit and be on this section right here. Be next to these. Be next. Be next to its brothers <laughs> or sons or son and grandson. I don't know. Like. 
I don't know if it, yeah. And and there'd be only one room to the war. It would be just total war room. Uh, that's it. And uh, and and you could launch Alexander by click uh, by click uh, by having like a click screen like this. Play room total war. Launch room total war barbarian invasion. Launch room total war Alexander. So yeah. Anyway, I played this game on part of the copy before. Um, I have 24 hours in this game. I might have played it more. On the part of the copy though, maybe. I have all the DC for it. It's a good game. Uh, now I know it's like it, 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 the Total War in community. It's not really that well liked because it's a buggy mess. Uh, it's not three really that buggy kind of is. Uh, but you need like Darth mod. I highly recommend. It, I highly recommend this mod. It's a Darth mod to play it. It improves uh, the performance. And uh, though it increases the file size of this game, like from 15 megabytes, uh, from 15 giga gigabytes to 30 gigabytes for some reason. So yeah, and the siege battles, like you really don't cheese. Like I, I think uh, the cities are removed from this game. The, like the cities are removed from this game. Like there's no cities in this game. I have I haven't seen any cities for, in this game. When you siege a city, like you just siege a siege a fort, not a city. I don't know why. Like uh, if they don't have like enough time to complete the sieges, like I, I didn't. Know, I don't know if they didn't have enough time to or, like complete doing the sieges during the film or what. I don't know. Total War Medieval Two Definitive Edition, arguably the best Total War game. It's a really good game. There's Aztecs. And it takes place in the medieval medieval era. You could play as Egypt. You could play as as France, England, the Byzantine Empire. Empire. You can you you can't play as the Mongols without mods or 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 console commands or like file editing. You can't play play as the Timurids either. Which is kind of like, which kind of sucks because like, because because like the Timurs have like elephants with two huge coins on them. Like you should allow you to play with them. Anyway, um, there's a lot of mods for this game. I like for, for like Europa Barbarum two. And there's like a mod, third age total war, where it turns the the game's medieval setting to a like a Tolkien Lord of the Rings setting. And there's like a very good Warhammer mod for this game as well. And there's like a lot of mods for this game. Like uh, this game is the preferred game of the series. So yeah, and uh, and the and the and the engine. That they used for this game is really good. Like it allows like huge mobility. So yeah, this game is, is the Empire. Empire uses the work escape uh, escape engine, which is not really that mod friendly. Totally accurate battlegrounds. I got this game for free. I tried I tried I tried the menu and tried to play it, but it's kind of laggy. It requires it requires like. Like good systems requirements. Like I need to play on low to get to executable frame rates. Even though it doesn't look that graphically demanding, 
kind of. Unreal Gold, I got this game for free. I haven't tried it yet. Unturbed, I, I played it for a little bit. Um, so yeah, I got it for free. Uplink. I plan to I, I plan to return to this game. Uplink. I got it part of the intervision pack. Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I got this game for free. Uh, it's a good game. I actually played it for two hours. It's cool. I had to de delete it because it, it had it required too much disk space. So Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition. I played it for two hours. I pirated it before buying it. So yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I, play, I played some, I, I, so I played it more on the Steam version. The Witcher 2, Assassin's of Kings, and Enhanced Edition. Um, I played this game, it, it's good. Well, no, I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet, so yeah. I, so yeah. And the last game for the, uh, of this list, I, I got this game for free. It's a good game. It's a good cheap uh, one dollar game. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much my whole collection, my whole Steam collection. One hundred twenty-four games, o over like over like twenty of them I got for free. So yeah, um, yeah. I got uh, I, I I I more than doubled my whole Steam library in less in less than twelve months. So yeah. Bye guys, have a nice day.